What's good, loves? It's your girl, Lauren Janae, back again with another banger. Um, today I'm not wearing anything special. I know I usually get on here and like promote whatever it is that I'm wearing. I'm wearing a Ren and Stimpy t shirt that I got from Five Below. So, shout out to Five Below. That's one of my favorite stores of all time because they have so much good stuff and it only be like five dollars. So, um, not wearing anything special. This is actually more of an impromptu video. Usually, I um plan out my videos um plan out not necessarily what I'm going to say but what I'm going to talk about and this one please excuse my eyebrows because oh my goodness anywho um <laughs> usually I at least plan like what it is I'm going to talk about um on my videos but this one was really impromptu I just felt the need to um I was on my couch watching a movie and I felt the need to make this video um and this is going to be a very raw um and unfiltered as possible video um so yeah quarantine living in quarantine um being a nurse in quarantine um being a black woman in quarantine, um, being me in quarantine, it has honestly been a struggle. Um, I'm not real big to like open up about my feelings and stuff. Um, I'm very usually reserved about like things that I'm dealing with and things that I'm going through and things of that nature. Um, but I'm gonna be real with y'all. This quarantine has kind of been kicking my butt in both good and bad ways. Um, I've found myself doing a lot of self-discovery. Um, I've found myself doing a lot of internal evaluation. I have found myself even like evaluating what it is I want to do with my life, if that makes sense. Um, I found myself thinking about and evaluating a lot. Um, and it's been very difficult. I have discovered, you know, different issues that I deal with, um, including like rejection issues, abandonment issues, um, really dealing heavily with my depression. Um, I was diagnosed with major depressive disorder back in 2018, but I've known for a long time like that I've had depression. Um, I've found myself dealing a lot with my anxiety and trying to find my peace and fight through all of these things um and it's been really really hard um I've been talking through a lot of things with my ther my therapist um I actually found my therapist on this website called therapyforblackgirls.com if you are a young or old black woman <laughs> I won't say old I'll say seasoned if you are a young or seasoned black woman and you know that there are issues that you have to work through I highly highly recommend therapy for black girls I found what feels like the perfect therapist for me um and she's really been helping me through this quarantine time um so I just wanted to drop a couple of gems um, that I have really been working on or that I have received from her throughout these past few weeks. Um, one thing is to always be kind to yourself. Um, that doesn't mean ignore your flaws. That doesn't mean that you're perfect in every way because everybody has their issues 
but it just means that you're more compassionate to yourself. I know sometimes as black women, especially, we are so big on being kind and doing for other people that sometimes we just let ourselves fall by the wayside and I'm guilty of that. Um, and with this quarantine happening, having to literally sit down and not do anything else, but kind of, well, I'm in school too, so work on schoolwork and work on myself. Like that's literally, for the most part, all I've been doing this quarantine. Um, and I discovered how unkind to myself I can be. Um, I actually wrote a journal entry talking about how unkind to myself I can be. Um, mentioning how there's a difference between tough love and tearing down and I have a very bad habit of tearing myself down um so that being said in this season I am trying to be more compassionate towards myself like giving myself the same compassion that I would give to other people giving myself the same love that I would give to other people if not more because it's me like it's me. I have to love myself more than anybody else could ever possibly love me because I'm responsible for me. Um, just learning how to change my statements that I make towards myself instead of saying, "Ugh, that looks terrible. Like acknowledging, well, you know, you could change this, this and this, but overall you're beautiful. You know, um, even like filming myself honestly without makeup and stuff even though you can kind of see i had on some makeup today and i got a little bit of eyeliner still but um even filming myself without makeup is like a huge step for me because i'm really insecure about my scars i have very very bad acne scarring um, which I've talked about in previous videos. I'm not sure when I'm going to post this one. Um, so I have talked about it in previous videos. But still filming these videos because I know that at the end of the day, people will not only be interested in what I have to say, but people will really connect with what I say. And... Um, even if it's just one person, even if it's just 10 people, you know, people are going to connect with what I say. So I feel myself in confidence knowing that this video, these videos are going to get in the right hands. And, you know, whether my YouTube channel goes viral or it's just, you know, a couple hundred followers, like, regardless, these people want to hear what I have to say. And these people need to hear what I have to say. And that's what I'm here for at the end of the day. Um, that's exactly what I'm here for. Um, so I don't know how I got off on the tangent. But <laughs> that's how you can tell this is really unscripted. Because I just totally went off on the tangent. Um, but yeah, self-compassion is super duper important. Um, because you don't want to continually tell, tear yourself down and continually feed the negative thoughts. Thoughts are going to come. That's another gem that my therapist has given me. Like, thoughts are going to come, but it's up to you to decide if you agree with them or not. Um, and you don't have to agree with every single thought that comes in your mind. Like, we think millions, if not trillions of thoughts in a day. That doesn't mean that we have to agree with every single thought that comes into our mind. And that sounds weird to say, at least to me it does. Um, but really, like, just because a thought in your head says, hey, you're not worth anything, you don't have to agree with that thought. That thought, that thought is not something that is a solid fact because at the end of the day, you're worth everything. You know, your life is so valuable and you're so very loved and that's, one thing, again, that I've had to really, really work through, um, not agreeing with all of the negative thoughts that come into my head, because I have a lot of them. <laughs> I have to almost reprogram my mind into thinking positive thoughts about myself, which is crazy because you think that they will just come naturally, but for me, they don't. Um, and I know that it has to do with other issues and those are things that I'm working out with my therapist as well. But, you know, 
You don't have to agree with every single negative thought that comes into your head. Try to think positively, even when it's really, really hard, even when you feel like you're in this dark, dark tunnel and the light is teeny tiny and you can see it, but you can't grasp it and you feel like you're being sucked into this darkness. Like, don't ever give in to that darkness. Like, I don't know who it is that needs to see it, whoever it is that needs to hear this. Like, don't give in to that darkness because baby girl, baby boy, baby girl, <laughs> you are beautiful inside and out like you are loved by yourself and even if you don't love yourself there are people out here who love you so much that it almost makes up for that love that you need to grasp for yourself it's still important that you grasp it for yourself but if you need to know that you're loved by other people so that you can grasp it for yourself you know, try and be around those people. Try and talk to those people. Try and open up to those people. Don't let those negative thoughts continue to tell you that you're worthless, that nobody wants to be bothered with you, that nobody is ever going to love you, that, you know, you're going to be alone for the rest of your life. Don't, don't give in to those thoughts. Baby girl, baby boy, you're beautiful. <laughs> you're amazing. You know, I keep adjusting my hair because it keeps falling and it's getting on my nerves. Um, but... Seriously, like you don't have to give in to those negative thoughts. Continue to practice self-compassion. And as we continue with this quarantine, because we don't know how long it's going to go on, you know, do that deep internal work to get to your best self, whatever that looks like for you. It might look different for other people, um, for different people rather, but get to that best version of you. Do the work, you know, one of the things that I've also had to embrace in this journey is pain. This is painful. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to y'all, like uncovering where these issues come from and trying to debunk all of these negative thoughts and these negative feelings that I've had for so long. Like it is painful. It's very, very painful. But at the end of the day once i get past the pain like the story is going to be beautiful you know i'm going to end up being that best self that i see myself as does that mean that challenges will stop and that life will not have any more hardships absolutely not but i will be better equipped to deal with life's hardships i will be better equipped to emotionally deal with these things um, so embrace the pain. It's only temporary. You know, some of it is very, very deep rooted pain. Like one day I will probably, um, open up more about where different things have come from. But for right now, like I'm telling y'all, embrace that pain, feel it through and just know that it will not last forever. It won't, I promise it won't last forever. Um, and I just want to both let you guys know like where I've been, where I am. Um, I'm still working through a lot of stuff, a whole lot of stuff, but the point is I'm not giving up and I'm still working through it. And that's the beauty of it all. Like, I know that at the end of the day, my portrait is going to be so beautiful, even though it looks like a mess right now. It's kind of like Mona Lisa. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, like, granted, it's a very, very famous picture, but Mona Lisa not that pretty. But it's a portrait of what beauty was in that time and it's now become well known as being beautiful because it's so famous you know so i don't even know if that analogy made sense in my head it did but <laughs> um just be compassionate to yourself especially in this quarantine time like we are living in some crazy times right now be compassionate with yourself give yourself grace Give yourself mercy. Embrace yourself fully. Know that even on your worst days, you are worth 
so so very much and know that you are extremely extremely loved um so one day i am going to get on here and talk about you know my whole mental health experience because it's been an experience for sure um i'll probably get on here and talk about like my life experiences or some of them um but i just wanted to let you guys know not only where i'm at in quarantine but i want to let you guys know that this isn't going to last forever for those of you who are struggling this is not going to last forever god loves you <laughs> god loves you so much and you're going to get through this embrace yourself now as is but continue to do the work that is necessary for you to get to where you want to be so i love you guys impromptu video i'm probably not even going to edit this just for the purpose of it being very raw and real so i love you guys um thank you for watching my video if you like this video thumbs up as usual comment down below any tips or any gems that you might have gotten from the video or even if you have any questions for me comment them down below um, I want to interact with you guys as much as possible. Um, so like, comment, subscribe, turn on those alerts so you know when I'm coming back with another banger as usual. I love you guys. Have a great night.